Sunny and Meher, it's so good to have you with us. Uh, you know, you've been working on a book together. And these uh, kind of partnerships, uh, you know, that intrigues me, but I'll talk about that at a later point. You're holding on to the manuscript right now. Yes. It's a book that has all these phrases that are used by the Parsi community. Tell me more. The quirky everyday phrases. But the community is quirky, many would yes. say. So <laughs> we just compiled a whole bunch of phrases that, you know, if we weren't going to collate these soon enough, maybe a, a lot of younger people would lose out on knowing them because even we don't really talk. Was, was that the initiator? Uh, was that the reason why you set out on this journey to write, to put together this book? Uh, yeah, uh, I think whatever I do in relation to Parsi is that's always uh, the kind of bedrock of, you know, rationale for me, which is uh, to preserve things that might die out. Right. Um, and I'm always conscious of that. Yes. And um, an older generation uh, that invented this language or perpetuated it will die out. And if nobody preserves it, you know, it will go. Hmm. So that is one of the reasons. And it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So how yeah. do you go about it? Because obviously there's so much out there. And this looks like a thick book and it's going to be out soon. But tell me, I mean, how did you go out getting these phrases? From the community. It's crowdsourced. Really? We created an email ID, people wrote in to us, and uh, we categorized them under different themes and food, insults. <laughs> insults okay. as well? Yes. <laughs> Give me a typical one, something that is okay to put out on air. Budwar now on the, which means um, can't recite the days of the week beyond Wednesday. Someone who's not very smart. Not very smart. Budwar now on the. Tel Leva Ja, I've yeah. heard in the you Gujarati have, community right? as well. Yes, yeah. yes. Those are open. But what exactly does it mean? Go to hell. <laughs> Idiomatically. Literally go get, go forget oil. Go right. And Navanu Tapno doctor, doctor who only treats patients who have 99 degrees fever. <laughs> <laughs> A quack. <laughs> um, and then there are funny ones like Evanto photo frame thagya. He became a photo frame. He died. As in passed away. <laughs> yeah. But that's almost like a euphemism, yes? Yeah. Yeah, but these are quirky. These are very... Absolutely. You found someone, something else. You're smiling, Meher. Well, that's every page. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> So it still surprises you. This is a work in progress, as I see it. But it still surprises you, some of these phrases? Here's another good one. My bape amtho ujagro kido, which means that uh, parents should never have stayed up bothering to conceive him. <laughs> <laughs> so the self-deprecating humor is also yeah, part absolutely. of Parsi yeah, culture. Yeah. You, yeah. you find a lot more of that in the, as you went along putting absolutely. this book together? Absolutely, and it's so inventive, huh. you know, and it's so imagistic, and it's so lively, and it's so funny yeah. that uh, as writers, you know, even beyond archiving it, as writers, it's wonderful to discover these phrases because as writers, we couldn't invent them. Well, yes, but yeah. the process must have been fun in the sense that everyone was giving all that they had, since you said this was crowdsourcing. Yes. But you come from a journalistic background. Um, not me. Not you so much, but Meher, you have. Yes. Uh, how did that come into play while you're putting a book that is essentially archival in nature? Does that really help? Do you do your fact you checking? Know, do you kind of cross check? No, that, that in any case one would have to do because this is this is to do with translation. Correct. So I don't think one really needs. You don't have to bring Not in really. a journalistic background right. for this. No. So I heard from Suni what yeah. she did this for, and that has been an ongoing concern to kind of preserve what is essentially true about the community. Hmm. What was your driver? A good part of it was. Was that? that? A good part of it was that because the book I did just before this called Laughter in the House. Mm -hmm. uh, 20th century Parsi theater, the last 100 years of Parsi theater, 1900 to 2000. That was also to bring that back and capture it while some of our actors and practitioners, the technicians are actually alive. They're right. all in their 80s and 90s. And I thought we can't lose that. Correct. So that that it's precious, I think, is what drives us both. Sure. This. You know, preservation yes. of a culture. And that is something that, you know, a lot can be debated upon in terms of how you go about it, the entire process of it, but more importantly about the importance of it, where that fits in, this entire drive to be able to 
preserve. So in doing that, do we really help because you've been doing this for a while? I want to understand from you, Suni, mm. because you've been doing this much mm. longer. Does it really help or how does it help? Um, I don't know whether it helps, but it definitely preserves. Uh, tomorrow, if I'm not there, I mean, it's, it's the photographs are there, this book is there. That's, that's how it helps. <laughs> it's, uh, you're, you're putting something down in writing or you're putting something down that otherwise might have vanished. I'm asking because, like you mentioned, the youth, yeah. certain phrases will just be lost down the years. They will not know that they ever existed. Yeah. Um, do you find that kind of excitement, enthusiasm about a book like this? where they will pick it up and want to read and want to know. We don't know. It's not out yet. Not this one, but I'm ah. saying through the kind of work that you've done. Well, when you uh, see reactions, how has that translated to you? It has translated. Uh, you know, I've got very enthusiastic responses from youngsters to my book. And um, I think um, A, it reflects their own lives and B, uh, it helps them explain themselves to others. Mm. You know, very often people who are not Parsis don't know what a Parsi is or now they just have to show my book and say, this is who we are, especially outside India. Yeah. So uh, in that way, yes, I, I've, got a, I've had a very enthusiastic response. In terms of this book, let's see, I think, I think we hope that youngsters will pick it up and enjoy it and have fun with it. Um, as we said, it's a crowdsourced book. It's a very, uh, I don't know if we could have done it uh, in the days before the internet uh. because we got, um, and you know, we got contributions from far and wide. Or perhaps not in the kind of time that you did this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. If it was done pre-internet, yeah. then you would be traveling, yeah. you would be meeting yeah. people yeah. and yeah. it yeah. would take years yeah. to compile yeah. something yeah. like yeah. this. And Facebook and Twitter, it all helps. Yes. <laughs> and when they mailed us, uh, where we could see photographs that would have been on how do we put those photographs? Well, a lot of young people we thought had written in you know, so their, their pictures. A lot were, of the contributors were young. Uh, quite a good, uh, quite a number. Why? Because they were probably were getting young. it from same, their yes, same, seniors in the family yeah. and passing grandma. it on through the net because yeah. they're more yes. But you can tell the youngsters to usually their grammar is not quite right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I've meant, that you would need to cross check, you need yeah. to yeah. Refer, but still make they were sure. They motivated enough to contribute. They ah, wanted to. Yeah. They right. wanted to see this right. happen. So that's yeah. a great sign. Yeah. You know, many within the community and outside as well will say that more than all of this, what is required is uh, a, a sea change in the approach by the community. Of course, but the two are not mutually exclusive. Hmm. It doesn't mean that you know you have to do one or the other. No. Yes, a sea change. But do you agree with that? Of point course, of view? I agree with it. Yes. Where of do you stand on many it. of the issues I which is causing the numbers to dwindle even more? Have you seen my film? <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> okay, <it> my <laughs> film uh, will show you where I stand. Where I stand, uh, I think we have to open up. I think it's ridiculous that we are so closed in. I think it's ridiculous that Parsi women who marry non-Parsis, their kids can't be you know, Parsis, I think it's rid absolutely ridiculous and unfair and stupid. And it has to change, and it is changing. You agree with that, Mayor? It is, slowly, I think so. Yeah? There is. There are progressive elements creeping in. Of course, as we get smaller, there's also a lot of infighting happening. But I think what Suni says is right. There are people who are opposing this kind of very sexist kind of... Uh, you know, community thing about My question community. is, would you kind of use a platform like the launch of a book or, you know, the talking point? Because yeah. you're creating awareness through social media. You're getting people to participate. Could that be a starting uh, point? We don't need any more talking points. Parsis are forever talking and fighting. <laughs> so <laughs> Actually, we need the opposite. We need the opposite. If you, if you ask me, we need to be able to sit down at a table and not fight and actually discuss things and come to an agreement right. uh, because we are so far apart you know the the views are so far apart and there's so much bitter in fighting hmm. um, it's not a very pleasant situation sure so we don't need to use this book to promote that kind of yeah. fighting it's it's happening without it we don't need to encourage it and uh, my I, for my for my film that was my idea I wanted to you know, I, that was my point of view. I wanted it to be talked about. I wanted to put forward that point of view. But my book was another matter. The book I made, uh, I wanted every Parsi. I didn't want to make it a political book. I wanted 
every Parsi to be able to say this is our community and you know we're proud of it and it was a very affectionate kind of celebration of the community which is what this book is as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And working together, you know, partnerships and Suni, you're well versed with that kind of partnership because for most people writing is a solo exercise in most cases unless you're like working closely with a director like uh, Mira Nair or you know to be able to sit down and say this is my vision and that exercise is great fun you enjoy that entire process this being an archival um, more hands on the deck would essentially help but what kind of chemistry do you need between two people who are working on the same book I think uh, you need to be compatible in the sense of uh, uh, having a vision for the book, which we were, mm. and uh, you need to be able to put in equal amounts of time, which we did. That uh, discipline is important. And, and we were in agreement about what needed to be tossed yeah. out. I think that like-mindedness was there. And yeah. This is basically a compilation. Yeah, there's no real room for uh, whatever creative, creative differences yeah. or anything. Right. So it's a different kind of uh, collaboration. You think it would have worked if it wasn't, if it was like, you know, pure fiction or some such? I don't see Sony? Uh, uh, as a writer, I write alone. Yeah. I've never had a partner, a writing partner, so I can't really answer that. A screenplay with... Uh, no, I've always you written were, you alone. Were, you were yeah. doing it entirely yeah. yourself, right? Yeah. So then, I mean, you haven't really done it, but... Not for creative Not endeavors. For creative. This is, as Mary said, it's yeah. a com you know, we compiled it. Correct. We are publishing it together. Oh, is it? Yeah. 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 Why would you do that? Uh, why would it you not look sense. for a publisher? Uh, actually, Suni introduced me to self-publishing and the many advantages of it. Right. So you have complete creative freedom. Uh, and I think as Suni encouraged me on my first book, Laughter in the House, she, I think it's possible to say to people that you can do this. Right. You know, you don't have to, you know, beat on various publishers' doors. You can do this on your own. Is it It's, it's the future. It is? Yeah. You it's think? A, this is my pet. Uh, <laughs> is it? <laughs> Tell us uh, more. Tell us more because, because you've obviously I, researched it. You want yeah. to be able to do it. Have in you done it in the past, uh, Suni? Huh? Have Sorry. you done it already? Two yeah, two, two editions Both the books of are book. self-published. Yeah. So uh, you know what it takes. Yeah, in 2011, I did a, uh, a workshop on self-publishing at the Delhi Photo Festival. Mm. And this year when I went back, I was really happy when I was told that there were a lot more self-published photography books as a result of that. So I was really happy about that. Um, it's, it's really my kind of pet subject because I, I published my self-published my first book in 2000. Okay. And I really think that I, I'm not being immodest, but it, I was kind of ahead of the curve because it is really the future. Mm -hmm. uh, now you don't need a publisher. In the old days you did, you needed a publisher's art department and everything. Now you have desktop publishing. Uh, there's really very little a publisher brings to the table. <laughs> A publisher needs you to go and find sponsors. Sure. Why should you find sponsors for the publisher? You find them for yourself. Absolutely. And uh, you get distribution just in the same way that a publisher does. You go to a distributor and say, here's my book. You keep 50%, I keep 50%. And so you really do not need a publisher. A lot of people need publishers to kind of validate themselves and say, okay, I found them. Because self-publishing still has that kind of aura of vanity publishing, sure. uh, but that's very old thinking, I think, right. because... The important thing is to get it out there. To get exactly. it out, and, and now when with it's digital your media... Work, you're going to be that much more driven. Yeah, and with digital media, it's really the wave of the future, mm -hmm. really. Because now I think people are doing a lot of things independently as opposed to, you know, through large corporations. We don't need the large corporations. With, with the internet, you, are, you can be your own boss. So, that's why. So you've been converted. Yes. You, did you do you feel no, that because I had, I had you've been part of the industry yeah. where you've had proper publishers? Yes. You didn't think this was a possibility before you got down to doing I it really yourself. I really didn't, and uh, I just requested Suni to take a few photographs for my theatre book. Yeah. At that time, I didn't know how I was going to publish, and very quickly she led me through the steps, and I was able to. Pretty do smooth. It. Yeah. This is fantastic. So we wish you great luck with this book. Uh, Thank I'm you. sure you've put in so Thanks. much into it and Thanks. now we're going to see it out soon and I'm hoping that people will react the way they need to and you know because it's so quirky it's enjoyable reading it apart from the larger causes that you mentioned which is about preserving all things that are native to the community. This is great. Thank you so much for Thanks joining us. Thanks a lot. Us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.